Bats by Gail Gibbons and read by Mr. C, the teacher. Bats dive, swoop, and swerve through the dark night sky. These creatures are nocturnal, meaning they are awake at night and asleep during the day. Most people have never seen a bat. Bats have played an important part in stories. Many people have thought bats were evil spirits. Others have thought they were friends of ghosts and witches. Because many unkind things have been said about bats, some people still think they are scary. Actually, bats are shy and gentle animals. Bats are mammals, as are dogs, cats, and humans. All mammals are warm-blooded animals, and their babies are born alive instead of being hatched from eggs. Bats are the only mammals that can fly. This is a funnel-eared bat. Bats have been around for a long time. The oldest bat fossil found is about 50 million years old. These prehistoric bats looked a lot like today's bats. All bats have the same basic characteristics, including large wings, small bodies, and lightweight bones. This is a little brown bat. You can see it's labeled with eye, nose, ear, wing. The fur of a bat can be either black, white, red, brown, or gray. The body, the tail, and the foot. Bat wings are different from the wings of insects or birds. A bat's wing has long arm bones with very long finger bones. A thin skin called a membrane stretches between the bones. The thumb ends with a claw. The membrane connects the wing bones to a bat's body and legs. A bat can move each finger separately to change the shape of its wings. This helps it change its speed and direction quickly. This is a nocturnal bat. You can see the membrane, the arm bone, the claw and thumb, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, and fifth finger, just like us. Some bats can fly as fast as 15 miles or 24 kilometers an hour and as high as 10,000 feet or 3,050 meters. When a bat lands, it flips upside down and hangs by its toe claws. It uses these claws to move around. This is a giant flying fox, and you can see its toe claws. Bats migrate when they go to and from a warmer climate. Bats choose many kinds of dark nooks and crannies to live in. These places are called roosts. Many bats live together in caves, attics, barns, or tall trees. In places where it gets cold in the winter, some kinds of bats migrate to warmer climates. Others use their roosts to hibernate until spring. Just before hibernating begins, bats eat lots of food to live on during the long winter months. Their heartbeats slow down and their body temperature drops. These are Mexican free-tailed bats and the bats hibernate when they sleep deeply for long periods of time. Bats live on every continent except Antarctica. Most of them live in hot climates where there are many insects, fruits, and flowers to feed on. That's an epaulet bat. There are about 1,000 different kinds of bats. The smallest is the kitty's hog-nosed bat, its wingspan is just 5 inches, or 13 centimeters, and it weighs only 1 14th of an ounce, or 2 grams. The biggest bat is the giant flying fox. It has a wingspan of about 5 feet, or 152 centimeters, and it weighs about 2 pounds, or 0.9 of a kilogram. They both live in Asia. 
the kitty's hog-nosed bat, and the giant flying fox. Most bats are insect eaters and have a special way of seeing in the night called echolocation. A bat sends out a rapid beeping sound too high pitched for people to hear. When hunting, the sound waves hit an insect. The waves bounce back to the bat's ears as echoes, and these echoes tell the bat the size and shape of the insect and where it is located. In a flash, the bat scoops up the insect. If it weren't for bats, there would be too many insects. Here's a little brown bat using that echo sound wave. There are fruit and nectar eating bats too. These bats help pollinate plants so we can have foods such as avocados, figs, and bananas. They also help scatter seeds. Here's the stigma and stamen of a flower. Pollination happens when a grain of pollen of a stamen lands on the stigma of another flower like itself. This is a nectar bat. Nectar is that sweet juice from flowers. A few kinds of bats are meat eaters. They eat fish, frogs, mice, and sometimes birds. They have smooth, sharp, crushing teeth that allow them to eat what they catch, bones and all. This is a fishing bat. Blood is the only food for vampire bats. They are found in Mexico, Central America, and South America. When the vampire bat finds an animal, it makes a tiny cut with its teeth in the animal's skin. Then the bat laps up the blood with its tongue. The animal hardly feels the cut. It's a vampire bat, very small. Many scary and untrue stories have been told about vampire bats and people called vampires. The most fictional vampire is called Dracula and frequently is shown with bats circling him. Some bats have long, narrow faces. Others have short, round faces. Some bats have leaf-like shapes on their faces, while others look like dogs. The dawn bat and the tube-nosed fruit bat, the Jamaican fruit bat, and the epulet bat. And here again is the little brown bat. Most bats have very good hearing and can see well. Most bats have a good sense of smell, too. In the springtime, female bats gather together in roosts that will become nurseries. There they will give birth to their babies called pups. Most bats have only one pup at a time. During birth, the mother bat hangs by her thumb claws with her head up, and she forms a basket with her tail membrane. At birth, the pup slides from her body into the basket. There's the thumb claws. This is a little brown bat with a pup in her basket. As soon as the pup is born, its mother hangs head down again. The pup nurses while being cradled under the mother's wing. The pup clings to its mother's fur, using its own sharp teeth and claws. The young pup grows quickly. A 10-day-old pup is almost too heavy for its mother to carry. At three months old, it is flying on nightly hunting trips. And when it is about one year old, it is an adult. Today, in many places, bat populations are getting smaller. These bats are endangered. One reason is that many people still don't like bats and destroy their habitats. Other causes are pollution and the use of pesticides for killing crop-damaging insects. In many places, there aren't enough bats left to keep down the number of insect pests or to pollinate flowers. People are learning how to help protect bats. Some people provide bat houses where they can roost. Sometimes people cover bat cave entrances with grill work. Bats are free to come and go, but people can't enter. 
Also, there are nature preserves that protect large groups of bats. Bats play an important role in nature. It's fun to learn about them. Diving, swooping, and swerving bats. The Mexican free-tailed bats that live in Bracken Cave near San Antonio, Texas, eat about 250 tons, that's 227,000 kilograms, of insects a night. Almost one half of the bat species living in the United States are endangered. Under the Congress Avenue Bridge in Austin, Texas, one can see more than a million Mexican free-tailed bats roosting. They have become a tourist attraction. In China, bats are a symbol of good luck. Most bats live to be 10 to 14 years old. Some bats communicate with each other by using their sense of smell or making sounds. Have you ever heard the saying, as blind as a bat? It's not true. Bats can see quite well. Some people think all bats carry a disease called rabies. This is not true. Bats can get rabies, but no more easily than any other animal. Never touch a bat you find on the ground. It might try to bite you if it is frightened, and it could be sick. There are about 40 species of bats found in North America. The most common is the little brown bat. It can eat 600 insects in an hour. <laughs>